Hello teachers and students. I just wanted to take you through this tutorial to show you to show you some stuff about utilizing fillable PDFs in your classroom with your students and specifically when you're utilizing them on Chromebooks because the software that you have available on those Chromebooks isn't always what you think it's going to be and then all of a sudden you're trying to use something and something doesn't work the way you want it to and that's really frustrating. So first thing is on my teaching uh, computer here, my regular computer, I have this PDF that I want, want to share with my students. I want them to be able to fill it in. As you can see, it's a fillable document. And I want my students to be able to fill this out online. It has a link there that I want them to be able to visit and, and so on. So two ways that I can do this is I want to, let's say I want to go out and I want to email this to my students. So here I have the file. I've sent it out in an email and I want to open it up. So when you click on it, as you notice, if the students just click on it from their email, it is no longer a fillable document. And that's really frustrating because, you know, you want your kids to be able to fill this out. So a workaround or a way that I found to get that to work for you is if you go over here to these three dots and you click open in a new window, it becomes fillable then. So I don't know why when you originally click on it, it doesn't work, but it does now. So, and then when your students want to complete it and then they have to go through and they would have to download it and save a copy for themselves. Uh, so it doesn't really have a save feature, but once they fill it out, they can download a copy of it. So I put a little few things in there and if I want to type in uh, testing for you to see that it works here. Okay, so when we did the testing, it didn't kick through with the saving of the file here, which isn't necessarily what we wanted. Um, so in that case, what we'll have to do is we have our students work with the file this way uh, and they type it in there, is they're going to have to go to print and then they're going to have to go to save it as a PDF. So that's how they're going to have to do that and then it'll print out. Um, the problem with this is it's a little bit of a bummer because then they can't necessarily save and come back to it. Um, but they can fill out the assignment completed online and then if they wanted to make changes, they would just have to, um, they would just have to either print it and write it on there or submit a new copy of their work. So that is one way of dealing with a fillable document online. Now let's say you want to share it with your students in Google Drive. So Google Drive presents kind of a similar issue. If you open it up here, here's the file. When I click on it from my drive, it doesn't become fillable. Now, if I click on my three dots and I try to work around with the other one and I say open in a new window, you'll notice it's still not fillable. So when dealing with this type of document, um, in this case, you actually have to add an extension to your Chrome. And it's really easy to have students do this. So it's super easy. You'll go to the open with. And so if you send it out, um, you send it out via your Google Drive or you want them to access it from a Google Drive, um, they'll click on it and it says open with. If you don't have the open with message, you'll want to go to the dots. You'll want to open it in a new window and then you'll go over and that's when the open with will come. So what you want to do is you want to add the extension Doc Hub. It's free and it's really easy to add for your students. Now I already have it installed on my computer. So for if you don't have it installed, you'll want to go to more apps, type in Doc Hub. And there it is. So I have a rated button because I already have it in there. Yours will probably be blue and say connect. So you'll connect it. It's going to ask you for some permission. It's going to ask you permission to like access your Google files, things like that. Just go ahead, click yes, 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 allow, allow, allow. And then at some point, it's probably even going to make you re-sign into your Google account. And they just kind of do that as a verification that you are signing it into the account that you want it to be active on. So once students have that installed, they can go open in DocuHub or DocHub. And there the file is going to open up for them. I like Doc Hub because it does save it for the students as it's, it saves it right into Doc Hub for them. So if you put in your name, student, you can see it's saving and you can see there's like a saving bar too. Um, so they have some notes that they want to take here. 
Um, they have some song lyrics that I want them to type in and uh, another activity. Now, when you're working in here and you want the students to submit this, you can go to download. And the cool thing about this is it's set up to work with Google Classroom. So um, you can see it's got Classroom. So you can say create a share link, upload to Google Classroom. Um, so if I click on it, I mean, obviously I'm a teacher. So, you know, it's going to ask me which class I want to send it to. Uh, so let's just kind of see what where we go. Choose an action, create an assignment. So I'm signed in as a teacher right now, so it's asking me to do teacher things. Uh, they can also uh, add it to their Google Drive, and you can export it to Google Drive. And it says we have successfully saved it, so you can show it in your drive then. And then you can see after the student filled it out, it's saved in their drive, and it's filled out with that, um, with the information that they left in there. So let's go ahead and go back over to Drive here we'll refresh our screen and then you'll see you edited this today and there it is with my information typed into it here it is again with my information typed into it so it actually revised the file that I downloaded so if you have a file like that you're sharing in your Google Classroom via a PDF um, and you have it set to make a copy for your students when they go in and they monitor and they change it through DocuHub um, and they save it to their Google Drive or submit it via Classroom. That's, that's kind of how you can work with these PDFs that way and stay entirely electronic. You can also download it. The good thing is if the student wants to go back and make corrections, they can open it up in um, DocuHub again and they can go through and it's all editable again. So if I wanna add more notes to things, I can click away, it automatically saves my work. So then I can save it in my drive, update the existing with the revision, or I can choose to create a new copy if I want, show it in my drive, and then there it is, adding more. So, um, you know, technology keeps us on our toes as teachers, and we gotta work together. So if you have other workarounds that you've found for working with fillable PDFs and keeping your students working electronically, fluidly with no problems. Leave those comments below. Uh, let us know how this is working for you. Let us know what else you find out and other tips and cool tricks that teachers are doing with electronic documents, Google Chrome, Chromebooks, and uh, forwarding us as, moving us forward as 21st century educators. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.